What is up, my friends? Toby Wayne, Toby Wayne Studios. So here you see, uh, through the power of uh, editing through some software and my buddy David Sherman, who is off camera, uh, we have been able to get our uh, Oculus Rift ran through the headset here so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm also up in that top corner, I, if I do believe I am, yeah. So anyway, uh, this is the Oculus Rift. Uh, what a an amazing uh, tool. Uh, this is, I, I've been working on this one now for maybe, uh, what, two hours, something like that. Just, yeah, just kind of playing around with it. Um, yeah, so this is my palette here. Uh, I got my clay, uh, my clay gun, which adds and subtracts the clay, uh, quote unquote, finger quotes, clay. <laughs> Uh, there's a smudge, uh, swirl, which I never use, flatten, which I don't use. I don't use cut. I do use inflate, which I can inflate and uh, decrease the clay, smoothing it out, uh, and then painting when that time comes. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is just the test, uh, just to kind of get used to it, because like I said, this is what my, I guess my, yeah, my second or third attempt, uh, yeah, second official one. But I can... Uh, grab it and rotate it uh, any way I want. Um, and then with the, when I click on both, and I, I can also pull it in close to me so I can look at it up close and pull it away. And then I can keep pushing it away. There you see the cube around it. That's my workspace. Um, and also I can make it uh, bigger so I can pull it in close to me and then just blow this thing up. Yeah. Oh, it's it's insane. Yeah, it like looks like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man on steroids. That's angry. So anyway, with that being said, um, I'm gonna be doing this 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 fun little uh, thing here uh, just to kind of show you all uh, what we're doing here. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, you know kind of show you the the tool here. I'm on my clay right now, and then I can select. So I'm I'm on my clay, and then this is my uh, screen here that. Uh, gives me all my different shapes. There's uh, different stamps of all different sizes. Um, and then there's different, you know, joints that you can do. Um, different stands and bases uh, and busts uh, that you could do with sculptures on, which are really cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, different cloth um, techniques. And then that tells you who did it and what time it was and all that good stuff. Uh, diff different ones you can do, uh, different shapes. So you could do different sculpting with this so it would make an arc as I'm sculpting with it. But for the most part, I just do my little, uh, my little ball up there. Uh, and so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So I wanted to uh, test this back out. I'll go back into my, my settings. This is going to give me the, the size of my uh, sculpting tool, adding, subtracting. Uh, trigger or taper so the more the if I touch it it will uh, the lights it's sensitive right David yeah, I think that's analog yeah controls. analog controls feather speed and then uh, a line or the surface so this allows me to add directly to uh, the sculpture or uh, add on to the sculpture I believe is how that works So there you see, I can add, you know, that's the smaller one. And then the more I add, just the bigger it gets. And then I can tap it so it can add a little trail um, however I want. And then also I can pull this back up, erase, change the size, back down to small, whatever I want, back out. And then I can actually take it away. Uh, light taps will do that. Uh, the other tool that I really like is the inflate and that's on the decrease there. So I'm going to, I'll show you the inflate. Uh, I'll just raise that up and then uh, I can push that little button and you can see how it starts to inflate and it gets bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in so everybody can kind of see what we're dealing with here. And then it will eventually close in on itself, making a full shape again, which is, you know, pretty cool. And then I can get in really tight that way too and then of course uh, the deflate is the you know the same kind of deal it'll just take away wherever it is that I'm sculpting 
uh, the clay to go back in. Um, I'm going to add uh, and then you can drop that down and you can get in pretty tight and it's very sensitive on the trigger like I'm barely pulling that trigger but you can see it does some pretty cool little veins uh, and then I can come back in with my smoothing tool and just lightly tap it and see how it just smoothed that right in and then I think I can also adjust uh, the size of the smoothing so it's a if I want to get in really tight and just kind of blend that in um, I can, you know, or I can, like I said, go all the way back up and go hardcore and just hold the trigger and it'll just blend that all in. So it's, it's an amazing, uh, amazing thing here. And so I, right now I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for what it is that I'm doing, uh, getting used to, uh, you know, the tools and figuring out what works and what doesn't work for me, what I like, what I don't like, um, but uh, yeah, for those of you that know me, uh, digital sculpting is something that I've been kind of, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, um, new to, I, I'm not, I wasn't 100% sold on it, I wasn't sure how it was going to go, if I would like it, if I didn't like it, but um, as you can see, it's, it's pretty crazy, uh, and I, you know, like a fish to water, I was able to jump... Yeah, yeah, 30 minutes and I'm, you know, I'm already jumping in there and going. So it's pretty, pretty crazy how you one can, you know, once you have the understanding and the concepts of sculpting, uh, how you can just jump right in and learn these little tools here and uh, automatically just start sculpting. It's, it's pretty insane. Um, this one here is interesting when you take off the surface. Um you uh, you come in here with your little uh, tip there you see and uh, instead of adding directly onto it I can actually go into the sculpture and then I can pull my trigger and I can actually uh, just keep adding layer upon layer and then you can see how I'm just going all the way out Is that picking up, David? You can see that okay? Yeah. So it's it's amazing how you can, and then you can come back in, change the size of this, and then go in and, and do, you can see the ball going in. And so it's, it's actually working on the inside. Then I can lightly pull that trigger out, and then that's how I can build out. Yep. And, and so then here I am decreasing it by the light sensitivity of the trigger. And that's actually full, full pull on the trigger. But I can actually push in, yeah. It's pretty crazy. I never would have thought, you know, in all my years of doing this that I would be actually sculpting you know with with this uh digital stuff where there actually is no clay in my hand which you know i feel kind of naked without having that clay but with that being said it's actually pretty awesome it it's pretty amazing what you can what you can do with the with the digital tools and this is actually i believe just the first version of the medium program um Yeah. Yep. New. Yeah, less than a month this thing's been out, I do believe. That's what David said there. And then I can also undo it. You're, there you see on the left, there's the trigger there that when I tap it, it takes it away. Or I can push it back and it comes back in. So, uh, really cool. Um, yeah, so I'm, I just was playing around with this little guy here. Um, you know, trying to figure out what, what I wanted to do with them. Um, and I, like I said, I can just get in really tight and just touch little tiny taps. Of course, it might, you know, blow your eyes out. <laughs> it's like sitting too close to the TV, it almost feels like. But other than that, uh, it's really cool. And I'm, I'm uh, 
very much interested in getting one of these. This is my buddy David's, of course, um, but I was looking at these uh, Oculus Rifts the other day, uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, and so I've made it very clear to my wife and Santa and Easter Bunny and anybody else, little Tooth Fairy, that uh, <laughs> I would love to have one of these, uh, so I'm... Uh, I'm going to be pushing with all of my might to make that happen. And it's the system that I was looking at there. Um, I've, I've got a computer. I think my uh, graphics card will handle it because it's a fairly new computer. But um, yeah, yeah, the computer will do it. Graphic card may not. But um, I think total for this whole setup uh, with the Oculus Rift and these two controllers here, uh, touch controls that'll be uh 800 in total so uh i'm very much interested in picking one up but when i went and looked at them yesterday at my best buy of course they did not have them so uh, that's okay i'm going to uh um oh Oh, okay, through the, yeah, so they're through Amazon as well, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and, and do some sculpting on this little guy right here. <laughs> I made that part up. I, I like to blow it up, but you can see the size differences, though, which is pretty amazing, so. Um, oh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll all be testing it on my computer out in the studio to make sure that it works. Okay, so this little area here I wanted to talk about while, I, while I'm remembering it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my surface, um, turn that on, and I'm going to drop that down. And I've got the add. Um, and this is great because you can, you can get in really fine, uh, close areas. Similar to the veining, um, you, can, you can just come in and add with just the lightest little trigger pull. And you can see it just starting to build up there. Um, you can you can add. It makes great little scars. Like you can come in and do all these little texture. Uh, the power of the X, if you will, where you can just kind of run, run your uh, your carving tool or your sculpting tool, whatever you want to call this. That shadow is going to be blocking that, but. Uh, it's pretty amazing the layers and the depth that you can get just off of this little tiny thing, uh, you know, just off this little little tool. Uh, and then I'm just going to lightly tap those in. And actually, uh, this is where the size comes in handy. And I can come in here really tight and just just touch that little tiny tip and blend it in. It's, it's really, really amazing. And you can just kind of go over it. Uh, and of course, the bigger it is, the, the more it's going to wipe it out. Like, see how I'm just wiping that all out with just the larger brush. But notice this one here stayed. So that's that's cool. So you can actually lay on pretty, pretty heavy uh, things and, you know, blend them and soften them in. Um, let's see. What else did I want to talk about here? Um, oh, you can also do... Uh, the erasing with the uh, Oculus Rift button here. And this can also do uh, nice little patterns on the uh, by taking away. So again, you can see instead of addition, it's subtraction, which I was never any good at math. So, you know. So I'm going to raise that up a little bit. And then you can see how big this one's going to be. And then you, yeah, exactly. A loop, uh, like a traditional loop tool. And again, that triggers super, super, super uh, sensitive. So, and if I pulled that trigger harder. Look how deep that just took it, yeah. So, pretty amazing. Uh, and it's crazy, because you just, you know, let's say I want that belly button to go all the way through. I can actually follow that beam straight through. And I can, it just it's just like a hot knife through butter. 
I just keep pressing that thing and eventually that will bust through to the other side which it's a kind of a deep sculpture now I don't think it's busted through yet oh oh okay I see it digging through yeah yep and there it is yeah right right out the hole there we we'll go ahead and just censor that but let's let's just fill that in right now what do you think yeah there we go i i cleansed the video for all those at home with children um but yeah so anyway this is really awesome stuff i'm really digging this um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, deflate this uh, little section here because i'm not a big fan I'm just going to go ahead and take that down. And this is a great way to shape, you know, like uh, any kind of muscles that you got going on. If you wanted to do, you know, rib cages or whatnot, you can. There's an interesting little spot right there. Um, yeah, rib cages. Uh, Let's see what else here. Uh, inflate. And then you can get in and just kind of fill in these little areas. I could have done it with my clay if I wanted to, but um, I actually really dig this inflate tool because uh, you can you can get in really tight and oh there, <laughs> there was a hole right there. Um, yeah, you can you can get in and do a lot of detailing uh, just by this uh, with the with this tool, the inflate tool. Uh, so smooth. I'm going to smooth up this. Watch how this just blends blends in and just makes a great a great little pattern. It just softens all those wrinkles. So I mean, you can imagine like if you wanted to do like rhino or. Uh, you know, an alien texture of some sorts. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty amazing stuff. Or I can just really come in and fine tune that. Pretty crazy. Yeah. So I think I want to try to um, smooth. Oh, and then I should say. This is my layer section here. Um, I can recenter myself. There's stamps. Uh, create a custom stamp. You can flip the object. All these good things. And I can do different layers. So if I wanted to, you know, say, I guess, what, paint it? I could... Oh, that's right. So if I wanted to start another one over here. Yeah. 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 And the people can hear you okay, right? I don't know. Yeah. That you, if you can't hear David, I'm sorry. We're we're trying to figure out how to get this thing to lock in, but he's he's Yeah, it's on the Rift headset. Yeah. So I'm I'm sorry if you can't hear him. Basically what he's saying is the layers are uh, for like uh, doing like if I wanted to sculpt the skull in and then go to the next layer and then add on to the top of uh, the uh, previous scan. Yeah, I can I can add to that. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, this is uh, really cool stuff. I, I'm digging this. I really like how this is, uh, you know, you know, turning out. Um, Oh yeah, so then I can come back in and inflate those little areas that are raised or I'll just go back in and smooth those over. But yeah, this stuff is really cool. I'm planning on getting one of these. Uh, I just got to uh, figure out if my my cards and all that stuff and in the 
on my computer out there will work. And then I can start offering these uh, digital sculptures to people or, you know, watching these videos here. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, let me know if anybody and everybody would like to see these. I'm, I'm very much interested in doing more. So if you are, please feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And let me know what you think, because I'm uh, very much interested in doing this. And, um, you know, I, I think this is a good way to, to you know, do something new. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of try to add some ribs in here. Maybe my size is too big. Yeah, so you can fine tune and and tighten in that little rib or tighten in the the size of it by just doing these. Yeah. And then that that works great too for, you know, it pretty much like uh getting up underneath and and doing that line of separation like fat rolls and and all that stuff and little textures and details muscle tendons and if I just keep going over that same spot over and over like I showed you in that other little video or uh, section earlier it will continually keep getting deeper and deeper which is pretty amazing And then that socket a little bit there. Yeah, so I can uh, smooth this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and inflate. I don't like all those... Uh, deep uh, ruts there so I'm just going to go ahead and fill those in by inflating and again I can just tap you know certain little tiny areas if I wanted the just that little spot built up and I'm going to add and we'll do it on the surface. I'm just going to kind of do a little fat roll there. And uh, so sensitive. See, I kind of did a little blurb there, but that's okay because again, I can come in and I can, I can either uh, increase my size a little bit and then just uh, oh so gently just add just the tiniest little bit here. It is gently adding. And then I can um, come in and inflate. Uh, and I'm going to drop that down so I can get some more control. And I can uh, just kind of fill all this in by just inflating that little section. See, this is how I'm going to fix this little blurb. I'll just come in and inflate it. And I can come up underneath just to kind of soften it up a little. Then I can uh, smooth it out.
Pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and def inflate, deflate this little spot right there. See how that just disappeared? Pretty crazy. And then you can actually get in tight. And I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, I guess, uh, elbow here. Um, I think I'm going to uh, erase. Actually, drop that down pretty small. Yeah, and then you can come in and... Gonna start adding some wrinkles. And this is sensitive, so if I come in at this angle, it's gonna cut up. Or I guess you know what I mean, like it'll be the direction that I'm aiming is how it's gonna go. Don't like that. And then, I mean, you can imagine, you can get as detailed as you want. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Now, coming up into the, the mouth here. Just going to add a little bit of a lip. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to give him a little cleft palette. What do you think? And then I can deflate. That's on clay, so I've got to be careful. sensitivity of this is really amazing to me. There's a little bit of a cleft palette and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little inflating here. Let me shrink that down. Or is that smooth? Am I smoothing? No, I'm inflating. Huh. Uh, and then you can... I'm going to deflate this little area here. But I mean, it's it's pretty insane that I can actually uh, can go up inside of that mouth and put like a whole palette up there. I can just increase my, oh, that might be too big. Increase my uh, decreasing palette there. Yeah. Yeah, and David's saying that you can cut it out from the inside by using the uh, the clay tool as the uh, in the deflate and just drop it straight in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go in here to the clay, and I'm gonna pull up my thing. I'm gonna take off my surface, um, and then I'm gonna add, you know, just a little bit of a ball there. Um, that's actually the erase. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna carve. I'm gonna carve out, I guess. So, so what I can do is I can actually come into the mouth here, and because this is on, I took off the surface. Uh, it's going to just take away everything that's on the inside without having to actually worry about taking off the surface. Yep. Yep. And so I can actually come in here and drop, you know, this whole inside of his mouth. <laughs> I could go, I could empty out his whole, whole uh, abdomen if I wanted. It'll... Yeah, there you go. yeah, I'm actually inside the mouth now. Oh, that's that's brutal. Yeah. I'm 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 in his mouth, everybody. <laughs> won't see won't see that, I guess, uh, on everyday uh, sculpting there. But uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. Like I can I can come up inside of here and. Yeah, so now look at this. So this is interesting. So look back right in there. I actually punched through, and there's an area that is, I mean, it's covered. It's a whole separate layer back there. Yep, from where I had sprayed the mass before. <laughs> so I'm, I don't know how well this is picking up, but this is, this is pretty freaky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can, you know, mess with these eyes and, you know, do whatever. Or you can come back in, uh, and this is a great way to do this too. Like I can I can pull up and do the addition and then uh, bring the ball in, and then I can actually go on the inside and just tap it, and it'll just fill that eye, you know, however I wanted. And then I can actually, then I can come back in with my, my clay tool again, do the addition, turn on the surface, and then I can raise this up a touch. That's too much. Drop that down. That's still pretty big because I'm zoomed in. Yeah. So now because it's on the, because I turned on the surface, it's going to add it directly into that area. So now I can just aim that in there and I can just gently start to, It'll start building up layer upon layer in there of the eye. So if I wanted to do like a, you know, like a, an eyelid. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be a separate layer is what David is saying. If you can't hear him, like these, these eyes can go in and then these eyelids can actually be a, a separate, a separate layer. Right. So this is a, you know, so you can imagine, you know, I mean, there you see what I've done. Um, you know, I've just added, you know, that little beam there and then I can actually take away the clay, do an erase job on it. And then I can come in and, and I can add my wrinkles.
Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I can smooth, you know, those wrinkles. Get in tight if I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the erase button there. And... And it's amazing how you can get just wrapped up in one, you know, one little area and spin, you know, just like in, you know, with regular sculpting, you know, I can spend hours just hitting one little spot. You know, I can come in and focus in on all these little wrinkles and fine tuning these things. And it's, it's pretty amazing the detail that can be done. And I'll come in and smooth. I'm actually going to back that out a little bit. And I can soften up those edges on the outside so that the wrinkles are still there, but just the outside's nice and smooth. Then I can come back in with my deflate. Oh, and that's already deflated, and I can drop that in. Then I can come in really tight, and if I wanted to, uh, oops. What was that all about? Deflate. Huh. Oh, maybe I was too big. But that is really, really a tiny deflate because I've got that thing. I wonder why it's not working. That doesn't seem to be. Oh, I might be on zero. Yeah, we found that if it's on zero, see how it says one right there. Uh, one is the smile. Yeah, one's the smallest that it'll go. But if it's on zero, then it won't uh, won't go any any more than zero. You can come around and define those nostrils a little bit by taking away. Give them a little bit of a uh, brow there. Smoothing. And you know what? Let's let's just have a little fun with this one. Uh, let's go ahead and um, we're gonna add. And I can leave that there. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna do the surf or uh, unsurface take it off of there then I can just come in real tight like this and I can pull and I can actually add underneath Give him an angry, angry brow.
That's pretty crazy, right? Okay. I'm going to raise my inflate up. Oops. It's pretty heavy. There you see, I mean, how easy it is to, <laughs> to do whatever. And of course, the, the smaller it goes, the tighter it gets. And we did change the resolution on this, but... Uh, <laughs> making everybody at home sick. Yeah. Then one of the, the cool things that I found uh, that, that I hadn't really played with that much is the painting section. So then I come in here and it pulls up my paint palette. So whatever color I want, there's the whites, grays, blacks, eyedroppers. Um, you know, so we're going to just go ahead and pick a green color. That sounds good, right? Almost like a mutated Slimer. Um... And then I can, oops, back away. So there's my spray. I can do brushes. Uh, opacity, uh, I like to start low. Uh, the size, of course, is, you know, a big size brush. Hardness is, I think, what the outside edges are. The outer edge, the outer edge of how, how hard it's going to be. So, yeah, I like the softer uh, edges of there. So, so, yeah, so then I can come in here. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and jack that up. And the beauty of this, the beauty of this is, is, uh, you know, wherever I, wh wherever I spray, I can, I can just hold that down and it'll just do that first layer of uh, opacity there. That's even the word. Yeah. Yep. It's down solid right now. But look, I can even zoom in and get inside that mouth. So we're just going to give them kind of a base color here of, of green. And you'll see what happens here in a second when I... Yep, it's not gonna. It's not doing the whole thing here. But I'll, I'm just gonna do this little section here and show you just the front half. And that's the beauty of this. No overspray. Like for an airbrush, you, you know, you'd be spraying paint everywhere. But there's no overspray on this one. Yep, yep. I hate to say it, but I think the future here is this stuff here, the digitals. Okay, so there's his, uh, you know, his arm and through the bottom of his hand. So then, using the exact same color, the exact, the exact same color and the exact same opacity, I can come back in and I can shade in a, the the shadows. And of course, I can you know, change, change up all that stuff. I can drop my tool down cause that's the size. So I can drop that down and then I can actually come in. Uh, actually, you know what, let me drop, bring that up a little bit so I can actually come in and do uh, modeled skin. Actually, you know what, I'm going to... Get some nice... Uh... And you know what, let's, let's bring up the opacity a little bit. See how that works? Yeah. 
and I can make my little size bigger. But yeah, pretty amazing. I can make a, oh, like this little bump here, you know, kind of an infected, you know, look by just doing multi, multi layers around and around. Then I can go back in and, you know, pick, uh, you know, like a lighter shade of green. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's lighter. And I can go back over it with, you know, that shade of green. Get my little green belly button. Uh, oh yeah, and I can also do my veins too. This might be too too strong, so let me drop this opacity down and the size of my brush too. See how that worked there? <laughs> I could see how one could get lost in this all day. Oh, what a big nose nostrils you have. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? See how I can darken that by just changing that opacity. Uh, so I did want to show the brush. Uh, it's pretty aggressive. Uh, so then I could just drop this guy down and then, you know, come in and just paint his hand. Yeah, the brush, and then uh, you know, change the the size of it, and yep, yeah. I'm still here in the airbrush. Yeah. Then I can uh, actually go back in and let's say I wanted to, you know, mix it up and do like a red. We'll go into our spray, drop down the opacity, drop our size, and then you can come back in over it and it'll just add a different color right over the top of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I guess what I should do is, uh, you know, do the right thing and sign it, right? <laughs> oh, am I on the uh, surface? Oh, yeah, you want to walk it to the surface? Oops. <laughs> there we go. And I can just sign this piece. Good old Toby Wayne. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll uh, smooth that up a little bit. So there you have it. A fun little sculpture. Uh, this is just showing you guys what can be done with the Oculus Rift. Uh, 
Yep. 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 Yeah, I used a, I did a monster hand just for fun, just to see what happened. And it was on really low resolution and uh, it still looked pretty good, but now we figured out how to change this and all that good stuff. And um, I can also have the option to, uh, you know, do a quick save, save it as load, um, share. I could record on that, but we tried it and it wasn't that great. We were having some issues with it. Yeah, it'll. Yeah, I could share this with other people on the uh, Oculus Rift Medium program, I guess, send it to their website. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm really liking this. Uh, the Oculus uh, Medium, uh, pretty awesome. And then there's other you know other places and other things that you can do. You had good tutorials and all that good stuff. Uh, teaches you how to you know what to do and how to add and all that good stuff but anyway uh i just wanted to share this video with everybody uh this was my i guess my second or third third or fourth time third third time messing with this uh what a fantastic setup i'm digging it um i just need to get one so um i'm awfully excited to make that happen um so yeah, let me guys, guys, let me know if this is something that you guys would like to see more of. Um, if I don't see much of an interest in it, then maybe I'll just get it for myself and do it anyway. <laughs> if, if, if you guys, if you guys are excited to see what can be done with this, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, leave that comment in the comment section below, and let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, David is kind enough to let me use his uh, stuff when he's here, so uh, I can definitely do more. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for checking this video out. Uh, please feel free to share it. Also, you can check me out on Instagram, Toby Wayne Studios over there on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do a little more sculpting on this just for fun off camera. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for checking this video out and I'll catch you in the very next video.